Hi, I'm Del. Hi, I'm Del Turlock, a cowboy lawyer. Well, believe it or not, I fancy myself. Whether I am or not, I guess is up to uh, some dispute. But I certainly fancy myself a political commentator. And uh, lately, a lot of folks have been asking me uh, my opinion about uh, Hillary and Barack. It's like uh, Romeo and Juliet, except for the Hillary was the woman, and I used her first. So I guess if I'm going to do that one, it would be Barack and Hillary. It was like Romeo and Juliet, because in that case, I'm using the man first, and in both, that's that would be consistent. Well. An interesting thing. People talk about discrimination. They talk about racial discrimination. They talk about man-female discrimination. I'm searching for that word, I think. Uh, gender. Genderized discrimination. Well, which one is more, I guess, would be the, the question. Which one is more? Well, Dale Turlock, to him, the answer is neither. Uh, the answer to Dale Turlock is that uh, which one, the answer to which one is more is sort of like, when did you stop beating your wife? Uh, the answer to them to that is, uh, I never did start beating my wife. Uh, the answer to the discrimination on uh, racial is not, and the answer to racial to the genderized discrimination is not. So you're faced with two candidates, and you strip away everything else. And what I what I try to do, and uh, and it's uh, some of my friends have had success with it when I told them about it. Is I when I look at somebody and I'm trying to completely take away the sex or the or the the race, I will draw. I literally will do this. I'll take a a. Uh, a piece of paper and I will draw the, a head I'll put some ears on it I'll put some eyes on it I'll put a nose on it I'll put some a mouth on it I might you know eyebrows maybe I mean essentially it's a head it's not uh, in any great attempt at, at Picasso and then I will imagine everything this person said coming from this paper head and then I say do I agree or not on my third marriage when I finally got a clue about how to choose a partner, uh, I ignored everything about her. I ignored that she was attractive. I ignored how she looked. I ignored her hair and everything else. I drew that head, and then I, I started thinking about some of the things that she would say to me when we were having uh, dinner. And, uh, and, and I realized that she, what she said made sense, and that's in the, on that basis I married her. I, I, I uh, do the same thing with politicians. So I've got a, a single head, and I think, uh, what is Obama saying, and what is Clinton saying, and, and do these things make sense? I'm not going to tell you how to vote, and I'm not going to tell you how I voted, or even whether I'm going to or did or am going to vote in the Democrat side. But I'll tell you, when you strip everything away, and you hear their words, and you think of their actions coming from a... a pencil head that's the way you decide on the character of a person I'm Dale Turlock